Well, this could be interesting. Um, crate club. Uh, before someone out there goes, uh-oh, um, I was actually contacted by one of the, uh, one of the uh, higher-ups at BattleBox. And BattleBox has uh, sort of teamed up with uh, Crate Club to help them in all of the areas that they've previously had problems. And I thought, well, that's pretty cool because BattleBox is definitely on top of their game. A uh, great bunch of people try their best to come out with great products and hell it's all working so well for them they have their own uh, series on Netflix um, if you haven't checked it out Southern Survival so uh, like I said I was contacted by one of uh, one of my guys at uh, BattleBox and they said because of the people that uh, do uh, do good reviews for them for BattleBox, they wanted to introduce us to Crate Club and introduce you to the new Crate Club. Uh, Crate Club is like BattleBox; it is a uh, subscription-based. Uh, uh, now they do quarterly, so you're you're not going to get a monthly box. They do two different ones. One's called the Captain. And the, the, the other one is called the general. So you'd get a, you'd pay $99.99 for a box with uh, $200 worth of stuff in it uh, four times a year. Or you step it up to the general, which is $399.99 quarterly. Uh, like I said, I honestly, I had never heard of them. I went and watched some videos, and these were they, there's been uh, nothing uh, nothing recent, and uh, I decided instead of just uh, you know opening it up and taking a look, I decided to treat this as me and you are going to be experiencing this at the exact same moment in time. So let us look at the Crate Club General box. Now, it says, tactical and survivor survival gear actually used by Navy SEALs and Special, special Forces. Uh, this is a 007 of Gearbox's real issue tactical gear that would be used on the front lines. Products include custom bulletproof bag inserts, bags with secret pouches, tactical self-defense flashlights, a uh, tool, uh, binoculars, and so much more. Built for the most hardened survivalist. And it's our most complete and premium package. Assume that's uh, this guy right here. Uh, quickly install the crate club hammock and use the ropes and carabiners to hang the hammock on a uh, on a tree or a nearby object in less than three minutes. And it's it's one of the ones that's got the, uh, the bug mesh and everything on it. That doesn't actually give a... Did I skip a page? Oh. Yeah, sorry. Just kidding. Well, let's just, let's just do this as long as we're in this page. Yeah, they were stuck together. Uh, the, the smart key, clean key. A safe way to avoid contaminated surfaces. Uh, oh, I see. Uh, you can, uh, you can, like use it in place of uh, of actually touching the objects 
and uh, it's it's made it's made a uh, copper alloy. Now I don't know if it says that on here or anything, but copper uh, we've got a we've got a local uh, we've got a local company called uh, uh, that makes products out of copper, and if you actually touch the copper, it it removes uh, germs and bacteria. So the the clean key uh, in today's world right now uh, definitely not a bad not a bad thing let me back up uh, to uh, page number one I guess it doesn't really matter because it's not like this is the whole tier um, uh, Gerber uh, ghost strike self-defense knife So, uh, well, I guess you wouldn't actually use this one as a neck knife. For me, I'd find that to, unless you can take the. Uh, oh yeah, you can. Uh, you can take the belt, the belt clips off of it. Then you could use it as a neck knife. Not bad. It's a. Uh, it's got a semi semi soft that's been dipped, and it shaves. Or you can, uh, I, something like this. Actually, I, I, uh, I've got, uh, I've had several knives over the years that have come close to a setup like this, but the knife itself was just a little bit too big. Uh, this, this, I would honestly give it a whirl, uh, and I will, as a uh, my small of my back uh, knife. So I'd have to. Uh, Turn it around. Yeah. Clicks in there nice. Um, Olight PL Mini 2. This is a, uh, 600 lumens, 100 meter throw. This is a uh, a weapon mount light. Let's use this to open this. See, there's a uh, a little wrench right there. Uh, this is one of the ones. This is something that I have liked, and I uh, I, I just recently have a I, I got a flashlight. I still have to do a review on it, but uh, magnetic, so you don't have to worry about uh, things getting uh, gooped up. So you got the quick release I'll have to look at the oh yep there they are there they are they uh they offer uh you can tell someone that's actually had a how a weapons mount light uh, the interchangeable uh, stop for your uh, for the for the slot uh, it, I may or may not just edit this right here but let me uh, let me grab something and uh, try it on there <laughs> The uh, 
G19. So it just uh, it just offers a now I haven't read the directions or anything for this, so you're just seeing me goof off. <laughs> Uh, I, I don't own um, I don't own one of these. I can say that uh, on the uh, on the Glock, you know, it would be really nice if those paddles were back a lot more. But even even if I changed out the even if I changed out that. Uh, that mount, it's never going to be back all the way into the uh, the trigger guard. I mean, it's not so much of a stretch, but again, this isn't a review of this particular product. This is just another thing that you're getting in the uh, in the crate. And and I can tell you that they're. Uh, that they that they that they don't give these away, and like I said, I really do uh, love the uh, magnetic charging on it. So find something that it'll fit on, and I'll I'll give this little guy a whirl. So there you go, the uh, the Olite Mini Valkyrie Two. I'm gonna, I'm gonna end up with crap all over the place. Uh, next, uh, Dre uh, Dango Products. The D01 Dapper Wallet. Uh, wallet was designed for the sophisticated individual with an edge on, or edge by incorporating clean lines and contrasting, contrasting materials and textures. From the boardroom to a night out on the town to a cruise down the coast, the Dapper 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 Wallet is there by your side and has your back. Holds up to 12 cards, anodized aluminum uh, wallet frame made in the USA. See, this is this is why this is why I thought I better I better just not do it the way I, I normally do this. Uh, nice tin. Uh, the directions are in here. Uh, card with a, a code to get 5% uh, off on your next purchase. A uh, lanyard loop. So it just has a, a band around it, and then you can uh, uh, just start putting stuff there in the middle. Aluminum frame. I get, you could put lanyard there. So if you wanted it hanging out of whatever pocket you use, I don't. I don't. Life hack. I know. Uh, uh, personally, I uh, actually it's upstairs because I'm. Uh, I'm in. I'm in my gonna barbecue some stuff as soon as we're done hanging out but uh, I personally I keep my wallet in my front pocket I don't keep my wallet in my back pocket for two reasons first and most important is me um, if you have a wallet that's bulky enough when you sit on it while you're driving it will shift your spine and second I was watching a show called to catch to catch a crook and uh, the guy, the uh, it was a show that hired uh, thieves uh, to show you how to avoid getting stuff taken from you. And uh, a guy said that uh, if if a gentleman carries his wallet in his front pocket, it is virtually impossible to steal. I can get them out of your back pocket all day long without you knowing, but not not in the front pocket. Um, The one that I have is 
not similar to this at all. It actually just has spacers. So, uh, that's, that's kind of cool. Um, push out on notch. Two to four cards on the front. Up to uh, eight cards on the back. So in other words, you can put some in the middle. And you can also put some between the... Like, uh, looks like a canvas material or a leather and, uh, and this band. I like the way that looks. I'll, I'll, I will. I'll give that a try too. Special edition. Next is the Leatherman Skeletool, the CX with sheath. Anybody that knows me knows that I am a uh, a multi-tool hooker. I uh, I actually, depending on what I'm wearing, will make a big difference on what I'm carrying. I have a pair of shorts on right now, so I keep it kind of light. And I actually have the Leatherman Rev because it has a built-in uh, belt clip and it's relatively small. Bigger is a bigger Leatherman or a, the Swiss tool. And I suppose to, as, as part of giving it a whirl, I can switch to this one. I, I have a, I have not used a, this particular one. I have looked at it as a was considering an, an item to purchase before though. Let's see, uh, access to the tools. I got a one blade on the outside. It's got kind of a carbon carbon fiber kind of look to it. See, I see a screwdriver tip. Uh, this is like this is like just like a generic directions for. Okay, I see the I see the access to the knife. Oh, I see the the screwdriver is right there, and you can uh, change that one out. And there's a uh, another one, the straight straight blade one that's tucked in right there. And I know these got to go one way or the other. Okay, well I'm not gonna stand here all day. I'll I'll need to give this one a try also. Yeah, I'm not sure which way those other two tools go. See how that one releases. Okay, well, that's a uh, skeletal and the sheath. Or it's got the, the clip on it. If you wanted to use it kind of maybe maybe a little on the big for a keychain thing. Okay. Yeah, I couldn't even tell you what the uh, what the prices or what some of this stuff is without independently looking up each one. Has a uh, stainless steel blade, pliers, bit driver, 
pocket clip, carabiner, bottle opener. Uh, okay, so that I was actually just looking at the frame. So that's the Leatherman uh, Skeletool CX with a sheath. Next is the uh, Bastion uh, Brazer Custom. Brazer, Brazer Custom. D2 Steel. I have several knives from Bastion, and uh, overall, I have always been impressed with their knives. Yeah, this is a this is a lot like uh, another one I have, except for the other one is uh, is looks like this on both sides, where this one has a uh, has some design. Again, I don't know if uh, almost looks like a carbon fiber insert on there. Your choice is. Uh, is tip up and uh, for, for me that would be perfect on this side uh, they're always extremely uh, easy folding actually they're so easy folding you can probably nope still gotta still the detent is hanging on just enough oh there it is <laughs> don't even have to don't even have to hit the little flipper just And as my man Wade would tell you, big red net papa, uh, D2 steel. D2 steel is a good steel. It's uh, relatively uh, easy to uh, uh, get an edge on it, and it holds it for quite a while. I, I like the D2. And make sure I'm not missing my page. The last thing in here is the Crate Club Urban uh, Drab. 4832 molly webbing complete area organization along with shock cord on the bottom gear such as blanket with strap on blankets rain gear jacket inside you'll find ziprized mesh pockets on each side and a hydration bladder pocket with toggles to secure Got the nice uh, small of your back padding. It's got the uh, the the mesh area, which if you're going to be uh, hiking and the temperature is really warm, it's nice that it uh, spaces it off of your uh, your back a little bit. pocket on each side molly webbing all over the place uh, you got that uh, lower area you could put uh, like a smaller uh, sleeping roll blanket or something down here fold up your jacket and put it down here strappings to tension everything up uh, see this should this should be a pocket too yes it is Pock it up on top. Compartments on on both sides.
feels uh, feels re really well made. Yeah, that's a nice that's a nice pack. Okay, that is the crate club general. As, uh, as always, if you're interested in giving them a try, uh, I would especially say if you uh, tried them before and, uh, and you weren't happy, just know that, uh, uh, the, that they've, uh, they, they've gotten together with uh, BattleBox uh, to try to uh, put together some, uh, some good kits and, and get, get them back on top of their game. So, if you like what you saw, again, there's some definitely, definitely some pretty, pretty cool stuff. I personally always rate these boxes on, okay, how much of the stuff that shows up would I actually be able to use? Well, I'm going to start using the knife right away. I'm going to go find a good gun for the Olight. I believe, I think the wallet's kind of cool. I actually might uh, give that a give that a whirl over the one that I'm using uh, the Skeletool um, you you can never have enough stuff like this you always make sure that you have it in the glove compartment of your car your first aid kit your bug out bag your range bag um, you just until until you don't have it you don't realize how much uh, some pliers or a screwdriver could uh, could definitely save you uh, the hammock that's I'm uh, trying to think between the trees if I could set this up in my backyard. Uh, the smart key, like I said, right now, um, that's it's not it's not a dumb it's not a dumb idea to have something like that. And again, it's uh, it's made out of copper, and uh, copper copper removes uh, germs and bacteria. Then you got the uh, Bastion knife. Uh, let's see. Uh, G10 scale with a carbon fiber inlay. That's you know it's it's a badass badass looking knife. And then the uh, the uh, urban urban uh, drab uh, 4832 uh, pack. Okay, I will uh, I will put all the information I could find I that I can find for uh, crate club. Uh, down below. I mean, if you're interested in uh, going over and uh, get, checking it out and giving it a try, uh, this uh, this first uh, first box here, the general, it's uh, it's a uh, it's, it's pretty badass. I I, I, won't, I won't lie. So questions, comments, please leave them down below. And like I said, normally with the battle box, I open stuff up and I play around with it for a week. Sometimes even more. I'm usually never the uh, first person to the party to do a video on it, but I usually like to uh, be able to talk about the items beforehand. So um, maybe I'll just do some do an independent uh, video on a few of these things. I mean, uh, you know, the O light, for instance, living with the wallet. So okay. Again, questions, comments, please leave them down below. Otherwise, a, a big thank you to uh, Crate Club and uh, and and Battle Box. Um, that uh, that's some pretty cool stuff. Okay, guys.